this is the finished product and let's see how it tastes mm. good nice awesome worth cooking welcome guys welcome back to cook with the biker today i'm going to cook uh prawns ghee roast um this is something again it's not my own creation obviously there are many versions of it and i have learned a bit here and there and i have tried multiple times i have tried this on uh, chicken as well chicken is a different bit of uh, di a different recipe but today's uh, prawns ghee roast is going to be a little bit uh, different recipe from the chicken ghee roast because obviously the process is different so what do we have what do we, what what do we have to cook for uh, our prawns ghee roast so we have two types of uh, chilies and that's very very important for uh, uh, ghee roast this is badge obviously this comes from karnataka and this is a uh, jodhpuri um, uh, chili so i'm going to mix this to see how the flavor turns out to be this is the first time i'm trying to mix two types of uh, chili one for heat and one for color and then um, obviously uh, other things that what i have is uh, curry leaves uh, garlic ginger and then i have rock salt and obviously the main ingredient the king of the hero of the dish which is prawns um then i have um, a tamarind um uh, lime juice curd and these two will go in for uh, marination yes this needs to be marinated and then i have a uh, chili powder um turmeric powder uh, jeera or um, your cumin a uh, pepper powder i've already powdered it this is fenugreek little bit very little very little for the fragrance and the flavor the more if add, you you add this it, it will be kind of very bitter so it's just going to be a pinch of it and then i have coriander uh, seeds so the next process what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, show you the marination process of the uh, um prawns come let's see so i have a small bowl This is half a kg uh, prawn. It's a big, mid-sized prawn, juicy already. Um, so now I'm gonna add a bit of curd, bit of curd to it, and and make sure that whenever you're using uh, prawns, right, make sure to, you you remove the veins. because some people are allergic to it because i am allergic to it i get bad stomach upset because of that i have a bit of uh, lime juice just going to spread it across and then bit of turmeric bit of chili powder the color of red and yellow looks so awesome it's like a painting palette um i always love adding rock salt uh because i think i i just this is just my opinion or uh, my thought that you know rock salt gives you a better taste versus your uh, table salt okay let's mix this a bit and don't feel shy to get your hands dirty Uh, because either which way is after this is cooked you are going to put your hand and avoid using fork and knife the best way to eat is with your hand the taste is different so i'm going to allow this to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes and while this is getting marinated i'm going to show you how i'm going to make the ghee roast uh, masala which is i'm going to fry these things i mean the, um, both the chilies uh, fennel uh, fenugreek cumin pepper powder um and then grind it into a fine powder add your lime uh, uh, into it so that you get the uh, wet pasty and i'm going to add ginger and garlic as well today i mean few people have their own preference they don't add um, ginger but i'm a kind of guy i am i have my own ways i always love ginger in my food uh, for many reasons Cool. So let's pack this, keep it aside, and let's get the masala going. Okay, let's get the uh, masala fried first uh, before it goes into the uh, mixer. 
um, add chilies. Roast it a bit. And add a spoon of cumin and a spoon of coriander seeds. It's your dhania. I'm going to add a little more. And then uh, since I already have pepper powdered, I'm not going to add this, but I'm going to add this into the mixer directly. So I'm going to mix this to a good fry. And then I'm going to put all of this in warm water, soak it, and then I'll grind it to a paste. Okay. And fenugreek. Look at the quantity. That's all I'm adding. More of this is going to give you a very bitter taste. And uh, be cognizant of it. And this kind of gives very good flavor for any kind of seafood. Right? Even be it your bangda curry or fish curry. Fenugreek is one of the secret ingredients I may say. But in very measured quantity. This. I'm going to soak this in the warm water for about five minutes uh, and I'm going to use the same water to uh, get the paste as well. So let it soak for about five minutes and then we'll get this into the grinder. Okay, now I'm going to add the soaked chilies into it. And then I'm going to add the soaked coriander and jeera as well. And fenugreek seeds that are fried. Now to this, I'm going to add the secret ingredient. I mean, I'm going to add this in two phases. That is jaggery i'm going to add a bit of jaggery in this and the remainder when i'm frying it now i have garlic and i have ginger now remember we had not put the um, pepper because we had already had the pepper powder so I'm going to add pepper powder of one spoon in this. And a bit of rock salt. Now this will give us the ghee roast paste, the red paste. Okay. Um, the, uh, the actual masala, the chili paste is done and man, you should taste this the spicy mixed with flavors. It's awesome. When fried in ghee, the fragrance and flavors, the way it elevates is just going to be awesome. So let's get the stove on. Add, be very generous with adding ghee because this is ghee roast. What? This is ghee roast, not oil roast. So make sure you add good enough of ghee and keep adding. Ghee is never shy of being added to the food. You'll enjoy it. <clears throat> okay, let me give it a good, check the temperature. Now, I'm going to take the marinated. Look at this. It's. It already smells awesome. Ah, it already smells awesome. Superb. Superb. Okay. Now I'm going to add the marinated prawns into it. Wow. 
Wow. It's already smelling so awesome. Keep a good distance from the heated ghee because once when you put the uh, prawn, it obviously has moisture in it. Um, so it may splatter on you. So just be careful of that. Okay. And now let's add our chili. Wow. Look at the color, man. It's it's like can you see the difference between painting and cooking? Both are bloody art. Food colors. This is brilliant. I'm just gonna keep it in simmer. I'm just gonna give it a good mix. Wow. I'm just gonna change my spatula because this is flat. Yeah, see, this is so much nicer, a better control. Guys, I'm telling you, no jokes. I already can smell ghee roast. Wow. Okay, now it's time to add another ingredient which is a soaked tamarind with warm water. Just have the water and I've taken the tamarind and thrown it away. Just add a bit of it, right? It gives you nice tanginess to your prawns ghee roast. Now let's fry it. And let's come back after five minutes of frying and see how much it has reduced. Now we are in the process of reducing this. This needs to reduce into a thick paste kind of a thing. Let's come back in about five minutes and see how much it has reduced. Okay, now the interesting ingredient, jaggery. I'm going to just break it. It's not breaking, so I'll just put the whole thing inside. Okay, so it's reducing in thickness. So we may, we will have to cook a little more for it to get a little more thicker and best to be had with appam or if you're having chilled beer or whiskey it's nice to have a nice chunk like this right with as your side for your alcohol or maybe your Mirinda or 7 up or whatever it is. Right. 
a, a real good evening snack that can turn into your main uh, dinner gravy as well for your appam or roti or whatever it is or even dosa right while this is getting cooked what i'm going to do is i'm going to fry the curry leaves in ghee for garnishing i'm going to heat there are few ways of doing it few people just add the uh, curry leaves right into the um your ghee roast but what happens is that the crispiness of the curry leaves goes away so what i do is kind of fry it separately add this uh um, ghee of curry leaves fried in it because it contains the fragrance of curry leaves into the ghee roast and i separate the fried curry leaves aside so that in the end i can garnish it so what do you think going to add curry leaves look at the way it fries look at this crispy okay done it's crispy i'm going to switch this off i'm going to separate this curry leaves see the crispiness right let it dry it up here wow look at the fragrance and then i'm going to add this into our ghee roast and then bring this back to the flame and and look at this this is how crispy it will be look at this you can just squeeze and make it into a powder this this use your nice fragrance of and and the aroma and taste of curry leaves with when fried in a uh, uh, ghee this is the finished product and let's see how it tastes mm good nice awesome worth cooking <laughs>